Non-Newtonian fluids aren't that difficult to make. I'm using ordinary garden potatoes to make this very special kind of substance. Enjoy the video! For this experiment I need some starch, so I'm collecting the potato starch out of normal garden potatoes which you can find in every kind of store. I also need a small cutting board to cut all the pieces of, uh, of potatoes in smaller bits. Also something handy is a some kind of mixer or grinder to grind all the bits of potatoes and even smaller bits. What you also need is a large bowl and also a spoon to stir everything around which you will see uh, later on in the, video, in the video. So what you need now is a, a normal kitchen sieve and also a, a bowl that is transparent and you will see later on in this video why it's really handy for it to be uh, transparent. Also a measure, measuring cup is really handy uh, because you need some water and also a knife uh, to cut all the potatoes in smaller bits. So we're starting with cutting up all the potatoes in smaller bits uh, with a knife. So this is just yeah, some larger bits you have to cut it in because it's, uh, it's much more handy to put in the uh, cutting tool uh, to grind it, grind it up because large potatoes in such a machine isn't that good for the machine. So you want everything uh, in smaller bits. So now you can put all the uh, small potato pieces into the uh, mixer i'm using this mixer because it's uh, i think it's really handy for the things i have to uh, use it for so put the lid on and start grinding and mixing it into a small uh yeah small pieces of potatoes so this is the kind of potato uh, mash you get after you mixed everything and you want to put that in the large bowl uh, not the transparent one uh, and you want to yeah, put everything in there, all the, um, all the uh, potato mash you have made with the mixer, you put it just in that bowl. Uh, and if you've done all that, it should look like this. And now you use the measuring cup to get some warm water. It has to be warm water uh, because the starch will solve better in warm water. So that's why you need warm water. It will solve a lot better uh, and that's what you need. You need to solve uh, as much potato starch as you can into the water uh, to collect as much potato starch, of course. So you stir it several times uh, and let it sit for around 10 minutes. I put it over there for 10 minutes, stirred it around several times. And uh, after you've done all that, you want to take the transparent ball and also the sieve. Uh, now you have to put all the uh, water and potato mash uh, into the sieve and um, you also want to um, put all the potato mash into the sieve and uh, put some force on it with some kind of spoon so uh, all the potato starch uh, will get into the transparent bowl. You also let it sit for a couple of minutes and you can see in this time lapse that there is a, a white layer forming on the bottom of uh, the ball and that is the potato starch that we are after. So I'm showing now this is the potato starch that you yeah got out of the normal garden potatoes that you can buy in every kind of store. So now you want to carefully um, yeah get all the water off in another kind of ball or in a sink and now you can see the white layer is yeah pretty good sitting on the bottom and it will stay there. So I went on for a couple of minutes and I made some more. As you guys can see, I have a lot of potato starch, uh, I think. So this is uh, really a lot. It's difficult to stir. And you also want to put a little bit of water in it to get the uh, right thickness. And um, you will get immediate, immediately, um, yeah, you will see immediately when the thickness is all right. And uh, so you can dump, in, dump it on a table or something, or uh, I don't know where you wanna use it, where you wanna play with it. And uh, this is how it actually looks like. This is the uh, non-Newtonian fluid that we made. It actually is a, um, it's a, yeah, some um, potato starch and water suspension. And that is a uh, share thickening, uh, thickening dilatant, 
substance. So that means that uh, the apparent viscosity increases with the increased stress. So, uh, so yeah, it means that the viscosity is uh, uh, increasing when the shear rate increases. So uh, the more um, amount of stress, the more amount of uh, force you get on it, you put on it, uh, the more, uh, yeah, the higher the viscosity comes and yeah, it turns into some kind of a hard substance of a solid substance. But uh, when you uh, put away the stress and you don't uh, put force on it, it starts to become a liquid again. And this is a special uh, kind of uh, substance also called the uh, non-Newtonian dilettant fluid. So yeah, in this uh, graph you can see that uh, the dilettant fluids are uh, really uh, behaving strangely and uh, totally different than the normal Newtonian fluids and the um, pseudoplastic fluids. But now uh, let's talk a little bit more about our uh, starch solution. It's uh, potato starch. Uh, most of the time they do this experiment with corn starch but it works the same. Uh, it's also called oobleck, ooze or magic mud. And um, it's, uh, yeah, it's very different kind of substance. Uh, and it's a lot of used uh, in demonstrations that exhibit its unusual behavior. behavior. So uh, yeah, this was yeah kind of it. And uh, you can see in the video that it's really behaving really strangely uh, that uh, if you put force on it, it's crumbling uh, in different parts, but if you uh, stop using force, it's uh, yeah getting into a liquid again, uh, which is really nice to play with. And it's a yeah, really nice uh, experiment to do at home, which isn't toxic and which isn't expensive. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like this video and uh, check out my channel for more videos and uh, have a nice day. Bitch, I'm busting out.